So what's in my camera bag for 2019 is pretty cool. I've accumulated a couple things over the last like nine months and I'm pretty confident that my camera bag is good to go. So what's in my camera bag is completely awesome. Um, I use the ProTactic AW450 uh, 2 and here's the bag. It is a strong and sturdy bag. It's very comfortable. It's very lightweight. It has side pockets. This is where I attach my one liter water bottle when I go for hikes. It's perfect for hiking. And I just love this bag. It's solid right here. It's been for quite a few hikes. And I pretty much take this bag everywhere I go. Um, maybe not always with uh, all my equipment, but this is just some of my equipment and here's when I travel somewhat light. Um, I normally travel with the 77D and the 18 to 35 um, with this bag, but that's what I'm filming on. And that's what you're that's what I'm filming on right now. So take a look in the bag. It's a pretty cool bag just in general. Like it has this, has this compartment where you could on velcro this and take this flap off if you don't want the strap this has added support and it has more straps i can attach things all to here it locks up here and on the strap so it makes it more uh, like a viable option um i've had a couple other backpacks and ordered cheap ones off amazon and it's never they're never good enough they always break or the zippers on break or Thing. This thing's been solid. I've had this for about six months and I absolutely love it. So this is good. Um, and then it's got compartments here. And then I keep gloves. I keep some candies there. It has uh, all sorts of things. It has like a key holder right here. Here's a key holder for my keys when I'm out hiking. It's the last thing I need to do is lose the keys to my car when I'm out in a boat. Um, I zip tied this because I don't like having easy access to my camera gear if I'm out in a boat and someone just unzips this or just naturally comes unzips and so I zip tied these because I like it zip tied because there's only so many compartments that I like having open. Here's another side compartment and then this bag does have side compartments here that gives you quick and easy access but I zip tied that because I don't like having like I'm always worried that something's gonna fall out or these are gonna come out but these are sturdy zippers but they're not they're not gonna they're pretty solid and they're not gonna get it done but I put zip ties on both sides so that's the 450 AW um, to the Pro Tactic it's a low pro bag so far it's the best bag that I've had and I've used it several times so yeah we're gonna take a look inside the bag and here's inside the bag so I think I was wrong, it's the ProTactic BP450 AW2, and I'll post some links in the, in the bottom below, but this even has like squishy stuff. So the squishy stuff um, really protects my back and it's breathable, so I don't really sweat too much with this thing on. So the cool thing is you can zip it up from the back, you don't unzip it from the front, and that's one of the best things I like about it. It's got this, um, uh, this, um, laptop holder here and it holds up to a 15 inch laptop i keep this compartment um, for my sd cards i got tons of sd cards in this and um i got business cards and stuff when i'm out and about i find people always ask for them because they're always interested to see my photos when i'm out and about um don't know why but they just well they just like seeing my photos i guess so i get asked for those all the time and then so here's the camera that i shoot wildlife with um, as you can see I uh, have the ADD I got a battery grip on it I carry two batteries in it um, and I got it just just a versatile camera it's decent for shooting wildlife it's not a 7d mark II, but it's pretty good and I have a lot of fun with it and yeah so that's that's what I shoot my wildlife with now the 77d I do portraits because I find that Here's where the 77D normally goes, the one that I'm recording on right now. Um, that's what I, I, um, shoot wild, I shoot wildlife on the ADD and the 77D. I do portraits and, and still photography with that. Um, so here's 
the little bag that came with it. It is the um, just a little low pro bag. I have my aperture um, mic in here for when I'm running and gunning or if I'm ever gonna do vlogs. I got my inside here. I got my dead mouse here, and then my it just goes fits right over top of my aperture mic, and it's a pretty good mic. I'm not really interested. I think I've used it like three times, but I keep it in my bag because there has been times where I did a quick vlog on my vlog site and it comes in handy. So that's pretty fun. And I don't always carry that, but sometimes I do. This I just carry Tylenol and, and stuff there. Um, and then I carry some extra diabetic strips because I'm diabetic and I, um, uh, basically, yeah, it's always good to have back, backups. And here I have my 3M kit. It's a really hard, solid case. It's fireproof, waterproof, and I have my um, N-Loop Pro batteries for my flash, which I'm about to get to. I got my two 80D batteries, and I got another backup battery for the 7070D. And then I have my battery that's in the 7070D, so I got two of each never have enough batteries and then here is my um, my uh, my flash my Godex these things come in handy um, just cheap Godex flash I don't understand why people spend too much money on these to get one of these and flashes come and go you know I've had a bunch of flashes and so far since I've been doing photography and I just keep it in the front pouch because you never know when you're gonna need it or do some stills and then I also have the 70 to 300. This is good for wildlife, and especially if I have someone like my girlfriend, if she comes with me, she uses this quite a bit and uh, has image stabilizer, sta stabilizer and it's ultrasonic. It's the USM, um, what is it? The USM IS 5.6 or 4 to 5.6. And it's not the cheap. 75 to 300 this is the 70 to 300 it's about like this is a decent decent lens and it's very versatile it's kind of like a 7200 but at 7300 has a little bit more reach and when you add the crop factors it's a little bit better so i do like having the 70 to 300 on me and then here's the macro lens that i shoot with i'm a big fan of sigma i do uh Sigma pretty much everything when it comes to lenses because their quality is better than the cheaper Canons and it's pretty much comparable to the really expensive Canons. So this is my Sigma DG 105 2.8 macro HSM and this is a pretty sweet lens. My This is, pulls off some really good macros and I wouldn't trade this for the world. I love it. And I keep um, this on me because no matter what I'm doing, if I'm doing a Portrait, you know, sometimes people want up close shots. This could be good for product photography. It could be good for um, macros of wedding rings. It could be good for uh, like jewelry. It could be good for product photography. It could be good for wildlife. I tend to do lots of wildlife lately. Now I'm going to be getting into a couple different things in the future. So it's it's going to be getting really really intense. So it's going to be a lot of fun. But this will always come in handy. So I keep that in my bag. And then I have this, this guy is my portrait lens. Um, I also have another portrait lens. I have a 50 prime, I like primes a lot. I got a 50 1.4, which I don't carry in my bag. It's more for portraits, I barely use it. But um, yeah, so here's my um, 85 millimeter Sigma Art 1.4 DGSM or DG. And then it's just a really, beautiful lens. I got a UV filter on there, anti-static, 86 millimeter thread. So it's a pretty hardcore. I, I, this is a Hoya Fusion one. But uh, yeah, this is my Sigma Art. And this is a good for portraits. And this thing's a beast. Like, I love this lens. By far my favorite lens. Um, wicked for portrait photography. I haven't really done a lot of portrait photography lately, but I will be getting into it as of the fall. And um, here's my big Canon that I, well, it's not actually Canon, but I call it the Canon. This is a Sigma. Let me get this bad boy out, but. This is what I like about this Protactic bag is that they can fit pretty much 
all the lenses that I need to run and gun. I can do video because I can do the 77D fits here and then the 18 to 35 usually goes here and I can fit all of my lenses that I need to run and gun for wildlife, for portraits, and I, can, I never know when, when you're gonna need it. This guy I carry strictly for birding. This is my wildlife lens. And here is the, here is the um, 105 to 600 millimeter um, Sigma uh, 5 to 6.3 DG. And this is the contemporary version. This is not the sport version. The sport version is way too heavy and it's too expensive considering you're getting the same image quality except the build quality. And this is some hardcore build quality and it even comes with the lens collar. So this thing was the, one of the best purchases out of them, the 85 Art. And then the 18 to 35, I find it's a wicked, wicked run and gun photo. And I, I love that lens too, but this is this was my go-to lens and it still kind of is when it comes to a lot of things because I love shooting wildlife and you will see more wildlife um, real world reviews with uh, wildlife and I just, I love this lens. It's been my old faithful. So it fits in perfectly right there. And uh, let's put the lens hood on it. Put this like this. Now I've added, um, I've added um, extra things to keep this going, um, to keep like the pockets. It only came with so many pocket like shells. I've taken this from another low pro bag and I've added things in, I've taken it from a cannon bag, so I've added a bunch of compartments. And this thing's heavy, but I am 6'4", around 250 pounds, and I can handle that kind of weight. Now, if you were a small person, you would not be able to handle this kind of weight that I carry in this bag, but I carry this thing pretty much everywhere I go, when I go birding, when I do portrait photography, or when I do product photography. This is my go-to kit in my bag. And so I usually have two cameras, um, uh, double batteries for both, and a shit ton of SD cards, and that's my backup. So that is that is my kit, and I usually and I can try um, attach either a monopod or a tripod to it. So this is a hardcore bag, and I recommend it for anyone that is is basically running and gunning, doing wildlife, going on hikes. Um, Basically anything, if you were going on a safari, this would be the best bag because it can hold the big lenses. I can even mount this, 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 this 150 to 600 contemporary Sigma to my Canon in, in the bag and I would still have room. So I'm pretty sure people that have like a 600 millimeter prime um, lens would be, able, would be able to fit that in there as well. So by far this bag is the best. So that is my bag for 2019. In the summertime, I'll do another one next year and I'll show you what is different. Now, I have a couple other lenses. I shoot with a 10 to 18 EFS because these are both APS-C cameras. They're not full frame. I don't shoot with full frame. I feel I will get, I'm looking into getting the EOS R relatively soon when I update my package, but that's coming probably Black Friday, EOS R. Saving up for that right now, but right as of yet, this has just been my wildlife bag plus some portraits for families and stuff, and that's what I've been doing. But I'm getting into some business aspects pretty soon, so things are looking up and bright. So basically, this is my bag for now, and this is how I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna keep it like that, and I'm keeping it short. Have a nice night, evening, day, and I hope you have a great time watching this review and. This is the Low Pro BP 450 AW2 bag review of unboxing what's in my bag. Ciao.